You will turn back outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Aloy! It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Wait, Aloy, you didn't take the outfit I made you. Go on. It's yours. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tab. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. This is never gonna be granted a May blessing. The high matriarchs hate me. All of them. Why is everyone so blue? Huh, nice. 
This brings me back. Drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Listen oh, carefully now. Not supposed to go climbing well, you'll have to tell this when rules. I'm gone. Oh, forgive them. In the beginning, all life came from the all last of Not the real fight. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. See you later, Karst. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arn. and slavers! Uh, hey, hey! Luminance Hold of the your fruit, nor, uh, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Right, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> He looks like someone. Oldman. Unknown to rest, he's wearing a focus. Just like mine. What harm did he do? Where did he find a focus? As those you have nurtured take their places among your braves. He's wearing a focus. Just like mine. I'm with High Major Glanzer. We shouldn't let these cards. Where did he find a focus? Our sacred ring. To be taken into your embrace. I thank the wisdom. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. With our tribes united in trade. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora, wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, 
a malfunction. Oh, Lin? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Mother, hear our prayer. What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. 